Do you struggle to park your bike in a crowded bike rack? Look at this fine fellow, doing his best to get to his class on time. But there's nothing he can do. What a disaster. Claire came prepared with folding handlebars by Both Manatee, the latest innovation in bike technology that lets her park her bike in the other class, even with a busy bike rack. So Spencer, do you ride a bike to campus? I do. All right, do you have any issues when you park your bike? Yeah, there's, uh, there's some handlebars that really inhibit me being able to put my bike into the correct spot. Number two, the bike racks are just too small, you know? There's not enough space for a big bike. It, parking is usually limited, and I hate horseshoe handlebars with a passion. Our main design needed to be three things. It needed to be shrinkable, it needed to be sturdy, and it needed to have good aesthetics. For shrinking, we thought of telescoping ideas, we thought of complete detachable ideas like a razor scooter, and we thought of a folding idea. For its sturdiness, we thought of a clamp, or maybe a spring detent, maybe a pin, or a twist-off handlebar complete. For the good aesthetics, we thought of some way of hiding the shrinking mechanism, such as a hidden hinge. And the bike handlebars need to be able to fit on as many bikes as possible. It needs to be universal. Ultimately, we used multiple designs that we had come up with and integrated them all in one. It was a three-part process. So um, our design includes a clamp to actually tighten and release the hinge mechanism. Then you pull and expose the hinge and then bend down. To satisfy our requirements, we needed it to be universal. So this middle sleeve part is one inch in outer diameter. So it can be attached to road bikes, it can be attached to beach cruisers. That's the bike norm. To collapse our handlebars, our fully extended handlebars go from about two feet down to six inches, which makes the limiting factor of width of the bike end up being the pedals themselves, no longer the handlebars. The prototype was made using manual machining processes. We believe that the handlebars could be manufactured using tube bending and the inserts could be manufactured using casting and post machining. In the concept generation phase, we identified that we needed to model basically two things um, to make sure that our design was safe and, uh, and nice to use. So we wanted to make sure that while you were riding a, the bike, um, that the handlebar didn't feel like they were flexing any more than a regular set of handlebars. Um, and we wanted to ensure that there were no stress concentrations that would, that would cause our, our um, product to fail. In the concept generation phase, we kind of modeled these handlebars as uh, a beam in order to make sure that what we were building could f satisfy these requirements. Um, and as once we came up with the final design, we used an FEA simulation to model displacements and stresses to make sure that they satisfied our requirements. If we were to iterate this design again, uh, we would definitely do a few things differently. First off, these uh, clamps right here are permanently set here, and that caused some problems when we were trying to slide the uh, handlebars into the stem, so we had to make some modifications. If we were to do it again, we'd probably put a set screw in there so we could take it off and it would also be nice and firm while it was in there. Um, since this is a prototype, this, di this bar is all one diameter. If we were to do it again for the next design, we would have the bars tapered down like normal handlebars and just manufacture it that way. With folding handlebars, you'll be able to tackle the terrain you'll find on your commute. Mark can park his bike and get to class with ease, even when he's in a rush. Look at Mark go. Revolutionize your commute with folding handlebars by Both Manatee. Change your handlebars and change your life.